Nowadays, just about everyone has a camera for various purposes, and one of the most common uses for a camera is to record videos. However, there have been situations in which people were recording a crucial video when a few minutes into the recording, an error warning has appeared on their screen. So how do you deal with an error of this nature? Will you have to start recording from the beginning once more if this happens? Those are the kinds of questions that might have been going through your head when you decided to watch this video. So if you're a filmmaker and your camera has stopped recording your film for some reason, sit tight and I will now show you how to resolve this issue. But before we get into the profound knowledge of that, please spare a few seconds to give this video a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well and turn on notifications so that you may get notified whenever we upload fantastic videos like this one. What I'm going to do in this part is to give you an overview of what it means when the error message movie recording has been stopped automatically appears. I will also be looking at some of the possible causes of this error message. First, what is movie recording has been stopped automatically? Well, as you may have guessed, this error is self-explanatory in that it indicates that your camera will cease recording after a specific amount of minutes have elapsed whilst you are using it to record something. When using a Canon camera, you might run into this issue. The middle of the video recording is suddenly cut off after the camera has been recording for a predetermined amount of time. When anything like this occurs, you will typically be presented with an error message that states something along the lines of recording has stopped automatically or movie recording has stopped automatically. Since you now know what it means, let's quickly see some of the possible causes of this error message. This error of the video recording abruptly stopping can have multiple causes, and any one of which could be to blame. So here are some of the contributing factors. Reason one, it's possible that your camera has overheated. If your Canon camera becomes too hot, it may turn off by itself and stop recording automatically. Reason two, the camera's memory card can't handle particularly high quality videos. Videos of high quality, such as those shot by Canon cameras, cannot be recorded on a card with a slow write and read speed. Reason three, it is possible that the automatic stopping of your movie recording was caused by a mismatch between your camera and the SD card that you have inserted into it. But at the same time, it's not very likely. Reason four, if the storage capacity on your SD card is full, then this indicates that there will be no more room for any further recordings, which will ultimately result in the video recording being stopped. And finally, reason five, if the SD card is damaged in any way, the recording of the movie will be interrupted immediately. Now that you know what the error message means and the possible causes for this error, let's move on to the next part. There are several ways that can help you to fix this error. So I shall now run through some of them in this video. Cool down your camera. In harsh conditions, such as when it is extremely hot outside, it is fairly simple to let yourself get carried away while recording a video. When this occurs, the most prudent action to take is to power off the camera and give it some time to cool down before restarting the shooting process. Format the SD card. Instead of manually erasing files, formatting the SD card is the best option when it is full of junk. The formatting procedure will erase everything on the card, giving you a fresh start. Before using the SD card again, however, make sure that it has been formatted by the camera itself and not by a computer. Also, make sure there's enough free space on the card before you start recording again. Change your camera's recording video size. Data loss can be avoided without resorting to formatting or even replacing the memory card. You can just change the video recording size so that the card can read the video. Remember, however, that some individual settings will reduce the video quality, but it still will be watchable. You can adjust the video's file size, frame rate, and compression settings in your camera's menu. 
The video recording settings of some Canon cameras, such as the Rebel T5 1200D, can be accessed directly from the camera's specific quick control panel. Control camera's bitrate. The movie recording has been stopped automatically error can occur if the camera's bitrate is greater than that of the cards. As a result, you should lower the bitrate so it can be stored on the memory card itself. Once you enable the card's capacity of handling such a bitrate, you'll be able to record your movie for a much longer time without it freezing up. You can do this by simply modifying settings like Qscale's low negative value or CBR 1X mode. An extension like Magic Lantern can assist you in avoiding the camera's automatic termination of video recording. Visit the Canon website and update the latest available firmware. Cameras, like other similar equipment, benefit greatly from regular updates to their systems and software. This is because upgrades address problems that were present in earlier versions of the camera, such as the inability to resume recording after an error. So to see whether there are any new updates for your camera, go to the manufacturer's website. You can acquire the most recent updates by going to the site support and downloads page. Opt for an SD card with high speed. The read and write speeds of an SD card determine its class. More digits in the class number indicate faster read and write times, and hence higher quality. A camera's read and write speed is the rate in which it can store and access data. For example, the read and write speeds and quality of a class 6 SD card are higher than those of a class 5 SD card. Because of this, nothing less than a class 6 SD card, but preferably a good quality class 10 card, should be used in high-end cameras like that of the Canon. As I have mentioned earlier, video corruption can occur for a variety of reasons. And when that happens, the only tool that you can depend on is none other than Wondershare Repair It. It is a professional tool that can fix videos that have been damaged. You may fix your corrupted videos by following these steps. But first, insert the memory card into your computer's card slot, download Wondershare Repair It, and run the program. First, import your corrupted video into the Wondershare Repair It platform. To do this, locate the Add Video and Start Repairing option in the interface's middle, and then click the corresponding Add button. Then, select the Quick Repair option and press Repair to have the program scan and correct the problems with your corrupted video. A preview window will then display to continue with saving. Click OK in this window. You can preview the fixed video by clicking the right arrow at the end of the File Information tab. If you want to double check that everything is in order in your folder, just click on it. Now in that window that popped up where it said to upload a sample video to repair, click on the folder icon. Your highly damaged video file can be compared to a sample video, which is a fully functional video file made with the same device and in the same format as your corrupted video file. This media will be used as a guide by the repair program whilst restoring your corrupted data. So simply select repair to move forward with the process. Once quick repair is complete, the program will return you to the previous window you were in. Files that have been repaired using quick repair are not immediately saved when you proceed with advanced repair. You can proceed without saving them if you select no, or you can save them if you select yes. All files with errors fixed can be saved, but please note however that you should not store the new versions of files in the same location where you deleted your old ones. It's basically time to switch to say for example drive D instead of drive C or even E for your data storage needs. Keep in mind as well that you shouldn't click recover until after you have saved your files, as doing so will return them to their original place. To create a new folder after they have been sent, select new folder, as in the destination. Give the directory a name that you will easily remember, and then go on to watch your newly fixed video. It's always good to know how to use camera video files to avoid further hiccups. So here are some useful tips. Backup video files before formatting. Ensure the integrity of your SD card. Do not eject your SD card when transferring files. And last but not least, do not excessively manipulate data. 
But that's all there is for today's video. So thank you for watching. And as you can see, Wondershare Repair is the ultimate professional tool. It's your finest repair tool if you see this error sign when recording with your camera or dealing with corrupted videos. So just give it a shot. And I guarantee you'll be pleased with just how simple it is to use and how quickly you'll get results. Before I go, however, I'd appreciate it if you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And why not drop a like too? But until next time, take care and I'll see you all very soon.